Okay, so what we have here is a uh, Baofeng UV5R. Uh, just ignore the rest of this for now. That's another project I'm working on. Um, but what's going on with this is that the push to talk portion of this microphone input uh, doesn't seem to be working. Um, you kind of have to press on it really hard in order for you know in order for the push to talk to engage when you're trying to talk on it. Um, so I'll take this thing apart. I'm going to try reflowing the solder joints on the connection uh, to, the, to the circuit board and uh, we'll see if that if that helps out. Um, I'll also spray clean the the jacks themselves and uh, just see if that helps out anything here. So first thing you want to do when you're working on this you want to take out the battery and then there's two screws here you want to take off. Um, so I'll, I'll, do, I'll do those now and then there's four screws underneath that that you also want to take off. Um, take off the antenna and take off the uh, volume volume knob and the washers that go on those those ports there also need to be unscrewed. But let's go ahead and get this taken care of first. Just take these four screws off, those two here, and then those two down there. And I'll get the appropriate drill bit for that. Now, I don't necessarily have the appropriate tool to unbolt these, but you can just use a flathead screwdriver to get them off, just to pry them off. So with the volume knob, there's a little washer. It's got a, a flat spot in it. I'm not sure how well it's showing up on camera, but it's got a flat spot there. You can just take the screwdriver and then just kind of pry it off, gently, of course. that washer off and then the other one same thing just gently pry it off you can leave this on it doesn't have to come off and we just kind of pry it up from the back here pry it up like that and it just pulls right off and then be careful not to break the speaker wire <laughs> <clears throat> okay, I'm not sure how well you can see that, but these points right here are the solder points for the mic and the speaker, the mic and the headphones. So I'm just going to touch those up with the soldering iron, just reflow them, and then I'll spray clean them out.
Okay, now that they've been spray cleaned, I'll go ahead and put the unit back together, and then we'll see if that has helped any. Okay, so take three. Um, <laughs> apparently I was holding the radio a little bit too close, and it was the RF was feeding back into the computer and causing it to reset. But uh, anyways, as you can barely see, I am connected using this radio uh, going to the to my PK-232 and I am connected to the White Tanks Packet Bulletin Board system. Let me just list out some messages here. And I'm just using my radio here just to monitor the signal. But as you can see, it works now. So I am planning to do some other type of experiments here as well where I have a TCP IP connection over amateur radio and then that way I can network my computers together over the amateur radio network. I'll be posting that on my other channel, the KG7UJH. I'll be posting that over there, but yeah, that was basically it for this. Just had to clean it up. Um, apparently there were some contacts in the the uh, microphone socket that were bent out of place too and you know so I just bent them back and uh, seems to be working now so anyways until next time goodbye <laughs>